Court documents show the detectives here at Lakewood PD had discovered that in the weeks and months leading up to this shocking tragedy, this specific Lakewood apartment had received several 911 complaint calls about loud, wild parties. Now, one side note is that we have decided to share the suspect's name despite their young age due to the seriousness of these charges. At Morning Tree Park Apartments in Lakewood, 64-year-old Leonard Williams was found dead last Monday morning, bleeding beside this dumpster from multiple stab wounds. It was not a pleasant find. Court documents say detectives believe Williams, who lived in the complex, confronted 17-year-old Brody Brownell, a.k.a. Chubbs, to complain about noise from a party. That's certainly what started it. Court documents say Brownell repeatedly stomped, kicked and later stabbed Williams. Neighbors were stunned. It's stupid to do what they did, you know? Just because someone asks you to be quiet, man, respect your elders. Court documents say a neighbor's surveillance video pointed to Brownell. People talk. He's now being charged with both murder and assault in the first degree. When you've chosen to make a murder one or assault one charge for 16-year-olds or 17-year-olds, it is automatically placed into adult court. You face stiffer penalties for sure than you do as a juvenile most of the time. He has no idea what he's in for. According to court documents, a witness told detectives that Brownell sent him or her a video he recorded of himself stomping on the victim's head while saying, you messed with the wrong person. Since the video was sent over Snapchat, it has been deleted, but court documents say a friend of that witness saw the video and corroborated their claim. And then he bragged about it. That's what's just sad. I learned from the Pierce County Prosecuting Attorney's Office that since Snapchat videos delete themselves and are unrecoverable, testimony involving Snapchat videos is treated just like eyewitness testimony in a court. Police were able to arrest Brownell in Yelm, and he's now being held on one and a half million dollars bail. Reporting live in Lakewood, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.